myself in the foot, man. That's all it is. How much did the environment impact those as well? Not as much, man. You know, when you win environments like this, as a team, you got to come together as a collective and, you know, just got to execute plays. You know, uh, we didn't start off doing that in the beginning of the first half, so uh, that led up to the score tonight. So it's all good. David. Joe, I know you finally threw an interception with Tennessee. Can you yeah, yeah. kind of take us through that play? Um, it happened, man. Um, you know, it happened. I can't go back and change what happened. Um, you only can learn from it. Um, it's totally on me. I understand. But he put, he put pressure on you, right, Desmond? Uh, I mean, you got hit while you were throwing, right? Yeah, that's part of the game. That's what happens. He didn't land on you, did he? Because he weighs 200 pounds. I'm you? good, man. Okay. Yes, sir. Eric and then Caleb. Joe, I know the mood in the locker room probably went great after the game. But mm -hmm. What were some of the things that you and some other leaders kind of said after, after this? For sure, man. Um, it's just all about if you wanna, if we're gonna come together or we're gonna separate. You know, um, these games right here lead you to the most important things in life. You know, you you look at the game and you be like, oh man, we lost to Florida, right? And you you go back in the locker room Sunday and you watch the game and you just see all the mistakes you made as a team uh, personally, and you wanna just fix those and go execute the next week. Caleb, Joe, you had a lot of success on that first drive. What changed from that first drive to the rest of the game? Just gotta keep executing, man. Um, as an offense, you just gotta keep going no matter what. Um, when it, when you score that easily, and you know things can can be can be so easily scored, you know you just can't can't just ride the wave. You gotta be able to execute and attack. Ryan and then Adam. The second half, you got, got a little bit going there on that first drive. I mean, what would you guys say at halftime? What, what kind of adjustments were there to make at that point? Don't shoot yourself in the foot. Just keep going, man. As an offense, as a defense, as a special teams, you just gotta execute. Adam. Joe, you said you'd like the team to come together. How will you know if it does? Will it show up in practice or in games? How, how will you know if it's true? Only, purpose, only people will find out that is us. Um, we'll find out We'll find out that within the team um, starting tomorrow. Really starting tonight on the plane, but uh, really tomorrow morning. You know, we get in there, we watch it, and go back Monday. You go SQ and get ready for the following week. Can't go back and change anything that happened in this game. Right here in the middle. Joe, oh, coming back home, um, What's up? what does that mean to you tonight? It meant a lot, you know. I had a lot of family here, um, but most importantly, just being able to, you know, go out here and execute with my uh, brothers, man. You know, we all preached that all week, just to get out there and execute. Um, you know, we fell short, but at the same time, man, you just got to go, got to go out there and execute, no matter what. Okay, two more, Eric, and then we'll finish Brian. Joe on the turnover downs, fourth down, kind of on the far side of the field. Looked like some things were a little out of control there. Maybe some confusion with the officials or substitution. Kind mm -hmm. of from your vantage point, what happened on that? Um, I was pretty confused on what was going on just because the ball was moving so much. Um, I was just pretty confused on what was going on. The ref blew the whistle. So in my head, I'm thinking that he's going to respot the ball so it don't be too much confusion on with the snap. But they let it roll. So, you know, everything else out of that was out of our hands. Um, you know, that's pretty much you got to control the controllables at that point. All right, last question. Judge, you guys come away from this game kind of feeling that most of the mistakes you've made were sort of self-inflicted? Absolutely, you absolutely. It's all self-inflicting wounds. Um, you look at it and you be like, oh, man, like I just say, you look at it and be like, oh, we lost to Florida. But, you know, you go in there and you see all the self the self problems we made, the self things that, that we did as that you did in yourself that messed up the play or messed up the drive. Like, those small things we can go change. Um, but you got to keep believing in yourself as a team. That's my message to the team. Keep believing in yourself and go execute. That's all that matters. Thanks, Joe. No problem. Thank, Thank you. 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 My God.